Hello my viewers. This is a video that I'm doing by request. It's about uh, how I built my metal melting furnace. So here we go. This is my metal melting furnace. Uh, the stand of course is just one of my old lawnmowers um, that uh, wore out and I had to replace. See there's on the bottom there is uh, where the motor and everything used to be. Anyway the alright now as far as the furnace goes um, let me take this is the crucible that I have now. It's really a um, a really nice crucible and uh, it'll hold about seven pounds of say copper at a time the crucible fits in side of the furnace just right I think I bought my graphite crucible right here at legend Inc they're out of Sparks Nevada and you can find them at lmine.com then inside of the furnace uh, uh, have this is a steel plate that I put on the bottom I'm going to replace that that bottom anyway with I think a, a graphite plate here soon some point um, and inside of course it's lined with about two inches thick of uh, refractory that I found the recipe for the refractory at this website right here which is at backyardmetalcasting.com and how to build the furnace itself I found a really cool place online that kind of gives you a step-by-step -step illustration on how to build this. The instructions on how to build the furnace that I did build is called the two bucks furnace. Uh, that's not to say that it costs two bucks, but it means two buckets. Uh, and um, of course that is at backyardmetalcasting.com as well. But this, this, the top here I built different than what was on the website. And uh, of course now this uh, uh, handle shank that where I can uh, uh, say hold a uh, crucible with while it's boiling hot with copper uh, I got online this is a graphite mold that will hold about one pound of copper actually it's really right on the money of about one pound here's a one pound graphite ingot mold that you've seen me pour into and in some of my videos eBay is another great source for finding equipment for metal casting. Here's a five pound ingot mold that I like to get one of these days when I get the money. And this is a cast iron uh, tray that I found online. Each one of these little uh, pockets here will hold about two pounds of copper. Here's the burner right here. Uh, I got let's, well, now the burner I found online at foundry101.com and uh, it really works real nice. Now I kind of wasn't too sure what the burner size was going to be. This is Right here, this is three-quarter inch uh, male pipe, and what? So what I had, and what I had done was, is I prepared it for one-inch pipe, 
you know, when I made the, the furnace. So I had to put in like a little reducer here to accommodate the reduction in size, which is just fine. And this is the top or lid of the furnace. It's uh, completely uh, lined with the refractory uh, and uh, with a, a hole right here that's about about two inches in diameter. Kind of gives you a chance to uh, add pieces in while you're melting it. Another website to check out is Foundry 101. That's uh, It would be that would be foundry101.com and they have a lot of great things to say about metal casting there uh, including uh, how, you know they sell a lot of the materials that you need like I bought this burner from foundry 101 and the uh, crucible shank from them as well. You, I hope this video helps to understand how I built this furnace. Thanks.